Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can set up a system on your server that enables player skull drops when they are killed. So what that means is that if I kill one of those players here, they will drop their skull. I need to set up the system first, so I already prepared a command block. I need to paste the command into this command block, press the button and that will create the system for me. Then, whenever I kill a player, they will drop their skull. So, for example, Rika's skull is now over here, and that counts for every kill that the server counts as a player kill. So, for example, if I blow my grater up with TNT, you will see that I get his skull as well. But if a player dies just by, for example, 4 damage, then the skull won't be dropped because there's no player kill involved. The system, as I said, is really easy to set up, so I will show you now how you can set this up yourself with just a few clicks. To set this up, you just need to download the Excel sheet provided in the video description and insert the player names of the players on your server into the list right here. Then you go to the second line and copy this command provided. On your server, you then need to go to spawn, give yourself a command block and set yourself into creative mode. Also make sure that command blocks are enabled on your server, otherwise the system won't work. Then teleport yourself into the bedrock layer. I already prepared a little box here. You might want to encase this with bedrock and place down your command block at the lowest level. In here, we paste the command we just copied and then we just activate this command block with redstone and that will start the system and create all the command blocks needed down here. Then the system is already ready to go and you could cover this up with Bedrock again uh, so players can't interact with it. The way this is working is fairly simple. I'm using two objectives, one tracking the death count of players and one tracking the player kills. Whenever there's a player that has a player kills value of 1, it is searching for a player that has a death count of 1. This player is then summoning its own skull and so dropping it on the floor. Then the player kills objective and the death count objective for both players is reset to 0. So what you can see here is that we do have one command block for each player. So here you can see for example Rika, Manuel, Javadad and so on. And in the end of this line we have uh, the death count set to 0 and the player kills set to zero. And that is all there's to it. You will also find this command and the two commands in the end in the description if you want to build it yourself without using the Excel sheet. If you get new members to the server, you can just update the system by pasting the new command in the normal command block and activate it once more. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then of course feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day!